So this is a video for the Eco Wood Stain demonstration of the different colors and how they look on different kinds of stains. Uh, the people at Eco sent me four samples of four colors. Uh, I mixed them all here in uh, the little uh, little sample containers. I I I don't uh, I I I'm not sure the ratio is is right, but we'll get the basic idea. Basically, you you would pour one uh, bottle of this uh, dye or stain, I guess, into one packet of the of the uh, basic uh, eco wood stain. Without the dye, the eco wood stain is just what they call silvery patina, silvery patina, and uh, that's the what's left after my um, I did my deck two years ago, and it's just this basic color. And it turns, I, I think there's a photograph on the website of the uh, color that it comes out. It's like a gray. It's like a weathered look, which personally I like. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't feel a need for any coloring. Although, and, and at the time, actually, I don't think they were even making these. Maybe they were in development. But, um, so, uh, what I did here was instead of dumping the whole bottle and the whole gallon of water and the whole packet, which is the right proportions, I just guessed, and uh, and you can see it stains my finger. Uh, I was surprised. I I was not thinking it was it was such a intense stain, but it it really is. So uh, you see the four colors, and you see the the fifth basic non-colored silvery patina color. Um, so we're gonna apply some of these each each one of these to different kinds of wood. And what I have set here is uh, different kinds of wood. Uh, this, oh, I, I thought I would uh, show before I start that I have a 20-year-old deck, and underneath the, the columns of that deck, someone had stuck this piece of pressure-treated wood as a shim. So the, the post was, was, was on this because they needed a little more height, I guess. And uh, so, but look at that condition of that in 20 years. That's pressure treated wood. And I'm sure they cut it there. This was, and they maybe, maybe they cut it twice and still yeah, like new. I mean, it's really amazing. This is a piece of cedar that was also used as a shim on the same deck. And cedar is a, is a great, uh, is a great wood, but you can see this is, this is rotten. And, and but you know, if you gotta go, if you, if you don't have a pre green pressure treated wood or brown pressure, pressure treated wood or this stuff, or something like it, cedar is a is a great choice for a deck. Okay, so I think uh, the first thing we do is I, I don't really want to spend much time on the silvery patina, but I'll show you what it looks like. This we'll start with this piece of trim. This is just some one by that uh, is is just pine SPF uh, pine, not not treated at all, and uh, this particular <laughs> I really I've had this stuff in a jar for. Uh, who knows how long, two years. And uh, I'll put that on there and we'll let it set and we'll see what happens. I think, you know what, there's a, there's kind of a, some kind of, what do they, what do they put on this stuff? I don't even know, but if I, if you were to, if you were, before you were to stain a deck with this stuff, you would definitely give it a quick sand to sort of break, they, 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 they talk about the, the surface after the sanding and what that is like, but that is not changing color at all yet. Anyway, Let's look at the colors. We'll start with the, uh, what is this? This is the black, satin black. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush as the, uh, as the basic color. And this is 20 year old wood that was not used uh, in any kind of a way, it's just, but it was original to my deck. That is a green pressure treated wood. This is brown pressure treated wood that is uh, brand new. And one of the things that some people are saying about this uh, particular um, stain is to take it and it, when, you, when you make a cut before you assemble your, if you're, if you're building a deck, just to treat the ends. Uh, but uh, we saw pressure treated wood really doesn't really need it, but I guess it's a good idea. So there you see the black. Uh, let's move on here. We'll go brown next. Is this actually called brown? It is called, yeah, 
stain brown. Oh, this is not satin. It says stain brown and stain black. Sorry about that. So here is the brown pressure treated wood. This is more like what I used with my uh, just the silvery consistency. I think I maybe had too much black dye in that black. And then you just you don't you don't need to rub it in. You don't need to really do anything with it. It just sits there and absorbs, and that's it. And now we'll move on to the white. They have a they have a 902 area code, which is Nova Scotia, I happen to know. Anyway, here is the white. We'll go on. We'll go on some pressure treated wood. I don't think I maybe I got this wrong too. But, but oh, now I'm, I'm, it's bleeding into the black. Doing nothing but making a big mess. There we go. White. It may be that I didn't put uh, as much uh, pigment in, but certainly a very thin stain. And now the the top dog here, the red. And last one. This is the brown pressure treated wood. And I conversed back and forth by email with this company about the stains. When I got these products, it came with a flyer that at the bottom of the instructions, it said, uh, not for use on decks or something like that. Well, wait a minute, what is, they, 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 they worded that very poorly. It's fine to use it on the deck. It's fine to put, make this your walking surface. But after some years of, of walk, where you're walking, you're going to want to recoat because the the tint or the, I don't know, the dye will sort of wear down over the years. Uh, so there's no problem with decks. They, sh they, really sh they really should change that in their, in their, uh, in their, uh, on their flyer. So the black, obviously, again, the proportions that I made may be wrong, but very dark, very nice. The brown, I particularly like, actually. The red, also. And the white, eh, not so much. I'm not so crazy about the white. I think I'd rather go with, in fact, it didn't even stain that at all. Let's try white on, uh, let's try white on just some regular tube one by here. <laughs> you can't even see it. I've got red in it now, too. Hmm. And are, we, are we watching? Can I? Yeah. Not, I, I painted white from here to here. Yeah, and we'll see when it dries. I'll I'll put some photos up on the on the website of, of the dried result, but it's it's pretty it's almost immediate. Uh, although it does it does darken as I I did notice it did darken a little bit as as you went along, so that's it. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I'm sure if you were about to do a big deck and you wrote to them and said, hey, I I would like to have a sample. I want, I'm interested in white or whatever, I'm sure they would send you a one gallon sample. They're extremely nice and very uh, quick to reply. Okay, good luck.